This flower itself is the main danger facing us in this mill. Why is it dangerous? In the right concentration in the air, flower dust can explode. There will be no warning and the mill will be destroyed. And we're not just talking medieval mills. In 1965, a massive explosion tore through a mill in London's East End, costing the lives of four people. It turns out that flour is a lethal and explosive carbohydrate. So, Mike, why is flour so combustible? Well, because it's a carbohydrate and contains carbon and hydrogen and oxygen, and, of course, that enables it to burn. Take me through how a mill actually explodes. What happens? Well, there's a lot of flour... Uh, very fine particles suspended in the atmosphere. And if there's an ignition source, for example, the millstones getting hot or the machinery getting hot, you have an explosive uh, mixture. To test flour's flammability, Mike has created a replica mill, complete with a dusting of flour and a candle to supply the ignition. Mike, much as I trust you, health and safety at all times. Okay. I'm going to use these bellows to force some air okay. into the tubing and up through the funnel. Yep. <laughs> Whoa! Mike, that's, um, that's pretty impressive, Mike, and um, seems to have um, melted your mill. That's amazing. So quick as well. So quick, yes. Scary. I, I felt that from back there, seriously. Don't try this at home. The next time you bite into a sliced loaf, think of our early bread makers. To produce our daily bread, they were dicing with danger.